And joining us here today for our Eye on Terre Haute is Mayor Duke Bennett. Thanks for joining us as always. Yep, it's great to be here. Now, this is the first time we've gotten to talk 2014 because last month, you know, the snow, the weather <laughs> kind of delayed us like it delayed everybody else. Yeah. So one of the first things I want to touch on for 2014 is what can we say is going to happen from an economic standpoint for 2014? What can we expect? Well, you know, last year was a little slow. 2012 was pretty good. Last year it slowed down. And I'm really thinking that this year is going to be a pretty good year for us here locally. Um, at the end of last year, kind of that November, December time frame, we had a lot of leads and a lot of interest in Terre Haute. It's almost like the economy's just been bad, you know, and that's really what is going on last year. People aren't investing. They're not moving their projects forward. But just in the last couple of months and in here so far, uh, the first part of this year, we've had as many leads as we've had the last two or three years combined. It's really kind of amazing. And so we're working on projects through the EDC with the county. There's kind of a variety of things going on there, uh, working together as a team, where I'm certain that in the next few months you're going to hear some job announcements, some new businesses coming to Terre Haute that will you know, provide good jobs, the kind okay. of things we always want to talk about. That's what everyone wants to hear. Exactly. That, and, and it's been difficult because there's a lot of these businesses and these corporations are just not investing money in, mm -hmm. to build, think, you know, build their projects out because of all the uncertainty. We're going to get some wins this year. And it's just, it's going to be good. I really believe that. And, and hopefully that will lead then to other things. It's kind of like out east on 46 when the Meyer store announced they were coming. All of a sudden we've got four or five other projects that are starting to take shape out there. It's, they want to follow you've, suit. Yeah, and you just got to have somebody to kind of take that step. And when they see that investment, it seems to always lead to some additional uh, opportunities for us. And so I think this year is going to be a really good year from a variety of perspectives with housing downtown, mm -hmm. uh, some retail on the east side, and some, uh, you know, good jobs being announced with a, a couple of, uh, you know, really nice uh, projects that this is shaping up to be a good year. And hopefully there'll be a lot more down the road, you know, later this year, but that's just the first part of the year. Now this is kind of a long shot, but do we have any sort of timeline on the Meyer store? Well, they're working right now with all the engineering folks. So they're dealing with the dot and the highway out there, uh, drainage issues, some power lines that have to be moved back. And you know, that stuff just takes quite a while. Uh, I don't, they haven't really announced when they want to start construction. It'll take about a year to build the facility. I'm hopeful they'll get it under construction by this fall, but we'll see. Okay, that's a long ways out. It's it, kind of hard to guess. We'll know more in a few months. All right, sounds good. And then another project that people are kind of wondering about is at Voorhees Park. We're talking about this aquatic center, mm -hmm. and people are wondering, is this going to take up the entire park? What's going on? Well, you know, when the, when the idea first came about, you know, there was a whole list of sites where the school corporation was looking, and Voorhees kind of worked its way on that list. Somebody had that suggestion. It wasn't us. Um, but I kind of like the idea. And the more we planned it and looked at it, because we wanted to make sure we weren't just giving up a park for, you know, no benefit to the people living in that area to be able to use that park. And it's underutilized, and we wanted to do more things ourselves. And so all of a sudden, it's kind of like, you know what, we can really make this a great facility. And so the school corporation will build the aquatic center back on the eastern part uh, where the old pool used to be, put a big parking lot right in the middle, and then so you'll kind of have a variety of amenities in a, in a horseshoe shape around that. The skate park will remain right where it's at, and we have plans to expand that in the future. Then you'll have the aquatic center, and then on the south side of that, uh, we'd like to put in a splash pad eventually and then improve the playground equipment. So you'll be able to come in off Prairie and Road, and there'll be four different features of that park you'll be able to use, and we can all work together. So you can have a little bit for everyone who's going to take their kids there. It's a family area, so yep. nothing's going to be covered or taken over. No, and we're going to put a trail around the whole park, so if people who want to walk in that area and just go around the whole park, they'll be able to do that. So I think it's going to be a great addition to Voorhees Park in that part of our city. Okay, and do we have any timelines on when we're going to start seeing this project well, move along? Construction will begin this year. The school corporation's moving that right along, and the other little pieces we're doing will come after that. But over the next couple of years, you'll see a lot of uh, things happening that's really going to transform that into one of our least used parks into one of our most used parks. Okay, and one of the last things we want to mention with all the snowstorms we're seeing this week and the <laughs> last couple of weeks, you know, where does the county stand on the salts and snowplow issues and the budget? I mean, that kind of makes a dent into things. Sure. 
Well, that first two storms, you know, the one we had on the Thursday and the Sunday, um, we spent about $200,000 on that. And I know some people were, you know, concerned that we didn't get all the streets plowed, but you know, that was an over 10 inch snowfall. We haven't had one of those in 25 years. And um, we used up a lot of materials and a lot of labor and a lot of equipment repairs we had to make after that. We're going to be okay as long as we don't have too many more like we just had <laughs> this week. Um, okay. You know, we've used up most of our salt supply. We've got plenty of sand. Um, we're going to be okay budget-wise as long as we don't have two or three more significant storms. Yeah, it's, it's keep just an been eye one of those years. I, I think know. that's our ninth measurable snowfall. I know that is just totally out of the norm. We we'll have to keep an eye on it, but then also just hope that Mother Nature follows suit. Yep. So we'll be okay as long as it settles down. All right. Well, thanks again for stopping by. Okay, thanks. All right. News 10. We'll be right back.